Hello. Hello. This is a conversation about the problem solving course. I am Maria Drushkova and you are? Uh, this is Ehsan Zafar from uh, Riyadh, Saudi Arabia. Wonderful. So we are going to talk about what we want for mathematics, what we want for the course. And I want to ask you first. What are sure. your dreams about children and mathematics? What do you want? Uh, it is a it's a very good question, but the uh, thing is, I would like to fear the I mean remove the fear of mathematics and usually that is available in kids because usually the tendency is that kids are not very much inclined towards mathematics because it requires regular practice, regular being in touch with mathematics. So we would like to work, especially I give I work for a science center in Riyadh. So we have a lot of kids coming to our place who are coming from different nationalities, different schools. So we would like to prepare, a pro present to them a program. And that is the reason, one of the reasons why I would like to get in touch with uh, an organization and people like you so that I can uh, avail from your expertise and uh, provide a kind of platform for these kids, I'm sure. So I hear for you, it, a lot of it is about connections about uh, connecting people of different different people different students and you connecting with organizations and different people is it right yes ma'am because we we come in, we deal with different schools like international schools and local saudi schools also so we would like to uh, provide them a platform where then they, they can uh, work with us regarding this aspect okay okay and what is important in mathematics for children, you think? What do you want for them in particular? Uh, in particular, we would like to, uh, usually, as I told you earlier, kids are usually afraid of mathematics. They're not very comfortable. They might be exceptions. There might be a number of students who are very comfortable and confident about mathematics. Mathematics might be a very good subject for some of the students, not all of the students. So we would like to, uh, present to them mathematics in a different form, in a different format, which is more friendly in nature, more interactive in nature. And they would learn from this experience and remove that fear that is there for mathematics. So uh, you're, uh, you want them not to be afraid? Yes, ma'am. That's ma a big thing. That is the first step, yes, ma'am, because uh, the first thing is having a positive attitude towards the subject is the first important step towards getting an air about the subject. Mm -hmm. So they first get not afraid. Not and afraid, yes. Then they get expertise. Yes, ma'am. What is expertise for? What it's all about? Why do you want them to have expertise in math? First of all, the need is that they have to do it uh, because it's a subject in the school. It starts from the school itself. At school, it is a prerequisite. They have to do in order to get good marks in overall all the subjects. Math, math is a very important subject, so they have to do well in that subject. So to start with, doing well in school is the first step. And later on in the future, math could be a very important topic. They can go into the future with mathematics as a specialization. It is a very very much a possibility for them. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So at first, it's a success with learning. And then it's success with life in general. Later. Yes, yes, ma'am. Do you think kids get more afraid when you put it this way? You know, it's serious business. It is a matter of your life. <laughs> and, and not in not in such a manner. We would like to pre present to them in a fun, in a kind of fun learning uh, atmosphere. In a uh, what do you say, like. A, present to them mathematics in a very uh, uh, positive manner and uh, uh, like because the parents are looking towards the kids that they should learn and the kids want to have fun so we, as we work in a science center our uh, objective is our slogan is edutainment education as well as entertainment so we would like to club these together entertainment as well as education so this is how i uh, foresee like to bring about mathematics in the schools here, in our place, with my kids, in a fun manner. Education okay. as well as entertainment. Okay. okay. Um, um. 
I, I, uh, I heard I thought... people say that these two goals, they're, they're pessimistic people. They say these two goals are not compatible. They say you can either have serious mathematics that solves world problem and helps you with career, or you can have playful mathematics that's beautiful and interesting, but it's just play, like puzzles or games. But these two are different things. What yes. would you say to that? Yes, yes, yes. I understand what they're trying to say, but uh, the fun part is a stepping stone for them to move into the serious part. One they get, uh -huh. one, once they get the hang of the mathematics, the fun part, they get so much involved, so much engrossed in this, that mathematics that that leads them to the serious part, the application part of mathematics in the real life, in the future, the benefit of mankind and all those aspects. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. So it's so, like a stepping stone. Yes, ma'am. It's a stepping stone for them. <laughs> the foundation so, for them. Yes. The foundation. So uh, for this course... Uh, who you will be working with? You said I, you'll have a group, right? Yeah, I actually have a group of my own kids, like starting from uh, grade 7, grade 5, grade 2, grade 1, and kindergarten as well. So I have different categories. I would like to experiment this program mm -hmm. with, this, with these kids and see how it works out so I can maybe try to apply that in the for the other kids as well, Nisha. Mm -hmm. And uh, when... When you work with kids, you work on the fun aspects of it, right? So you adapt the problems to be fun for your kids, to be edutainment, right? Yes, ma'am, Okay. 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 Um, so uh, you, you, you have a plan, and I'm really looking forward to see how you adapt these problems. We think they are fun already somewhat but different people have different ideas of what is fun so what do you think is fun for your kids uh, uh still i don't have a clear picture like what could be fun in terms of mathematics so i still like to try that out how about, how about in general what is fun in general not in mathematics in general like uh uh maybe kind of a games and all those things apply games and some kind of uh, uh interesting challenges for them i mean some using some pictures and cartoons and all those things to uh apply a mathematical problem to them that might be a bit interesting for them hopefully but still do, I, do they like to play games yes they like to play yes online games using maths on the on the internet yes okay, okay. Maybe they can uh, make up some games about the problems. Yes, that is true. That is a possibility, surely. Yes. Maybe oh, you with them together. So you have uh, five kids, right? You said. Yes, right. Yes, yes. So that's a lot of creativity in one family. Yes, <laughs> so yes. they can be making up a lot of games for themselves, for one another, for you. <laughs> right? Yes, we'll come to the prospect in Shannon. Okay. okay. Do, do they like other things besides games, like stories or art? What yes, yes. yes, they like to make like a coloring and on painting and all, making things of, for example, origami. You might have origami. heard of it. Yes, they make a lot of things using uh, these papers and all, different uh, okay. structures and all. And then they like uh, playing uh, outside games as well, and inside okay. games as well, outdoor games, indoor games and all. There is a group. Um, there is a group. I think in the North US, uh, who said they will be adapting all the problems to do to, to do them in the park, outdoor. Oh, that's so, cool. so maybe you can share this interest. See how yes, I like can the experience. Yes, sure. Outdoor. I I think you were the first one to name origami so far. I love origami and paper modeling, all paper crafts. And yes, this is one of the programs that we have in the Science Center, ma'am. It's called origami. We have a lot of things coming there. Yes. Are you involved in it? Yes, yes, I'm involved in this. Okay. This batch was the first batch who we experimented origami in our Science Center with my kids. Wow. wow. So maybe if, if you can do things with origami or paper models for some of these problems, I don't know how yet. But, uh, you know, paper modeling is very powerful. So maybe you figure it out. <laughs> it yes. would be very interesting for people to see. Yeah, but you'd like to have a kind of a different, I mean, not only sticking to one particular object or one particular sphere. 
We like to move with different things so we can experiment and kids can enjoy. For example, as you said, outdoor activity. That could be a part of the, the program that you like to test with the kids. Not even nice. outdoor, indoor, and mixture of different things. Portfolio of different activities. Wow. wow. When does this, this program start? Which one, which one ma'am? Oh, the, the, the mixture of different activities in your center or has it been going on? Uh, for example, we, we do. My kids just now, they have finished the exam. They are free now. They are at home in vacation. Okay. So they okay. have a lot of time. So we do like, uh, they do origami stuff. They do sometimes coloring, painting. They make some drawings and all from seen from the internet. Mm -hmm. Some cartoons and all, they do this kind of fun. Okay. okay. So these were my questions. And I'd like, uh, you, you've been asking very good questions on the forum. I think useful for everybody. So I want to thank you for that. It was a pleasure, man. It's a pleasure to work with you, inshallah. Look ahead to work with you, inshallah. And I want to ask you now uh, for your comments or questions while we are talking. Do you have uh, questions about the course right now? Yes, ma'am. Do you have, have you done this kind of this program earlier, ma'am, before? No. Um, I have organized online courses for different things. So, uh, most courses I organize now are open. So they we invite people from all over the world to do things together. Um, I haven't done this particular course. So the course about problems that uh, James Stanton originally wrote. Uh, so it, some of it is very new and experimental. Uh -huh. So, but uh, we've been doing courses before and we've been doing online discussions for the books before. So there is some experience and some openness. Uh, if you would like, I can send you the links to some of the previous courses if you'd like to see. Yes, surely. Um, but what are the courses that are there? Is it related to mathematics or are they all different courses? That you have? Uh, well, I work in mathematics education. So all the things I design have to do with math. That's so, so some of the courses were more for teachers, uh, for school teachers. So, uh, for example, uh, I just finished a course on technology of mathematics education. And some of the courses were for parents like this one and teachers together. So uh, this is a combined course about, I would say, about the third people up parents doing things with their families and friends. About a third are people doing things with mass clubs, mass circles and mass centers uh, like you describe. And mm -hmm. about a third of people are teachers who want to see uh, if this applies to their classrooms, but they will be trying it with someone else, usually their kids or uh, their mass clubs again. So we have a good mix of people here. Okay. Because as I told you earlier that uh, we are looking forward to, we are in search of, actually we are in search of a program for, for kids in the science center related to mathematics. So if there is any kind of availability of such a program, because I, uh, I had mentioned in my uh, in, uh, communication earlier that uh, we have a program called TREPS from the America. Mm -hmm. It's an American mm -hmm. program, an entrepreneurship program, comprising of uh, seven weeks, comprising six workshops and a marketplace. And we have been doing this program. This is the fifth year that we are doing this program. We have served around 1,500 students in the process to this program from different national and This okay. is a very interesting conversation to have. So I hope you meet uh, people in this course who may be interested in that in different ways. And also let us talk about it more uh, as a separate conversation, who can help you with this? For example, I am immediately thinking of uh, the uh, National Association of Mass Circles in the yeah. United States, who may be yes. interested. I actually, I called them, tried to call them. I sent an email. They came back the same mail delivery failure, and I tried to call them a number of times. I could not get the right person to know. Okay, oh. I will help you connect with that group. I am on the board there, so uh, that's the wonderful. We are rebuilding the sites. That's why emails probably That's a got messed up. I'll, 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 I'll look into it too. Okay. So, but um, the, there are people to connect to and uh, I hope this works for everybody 
for as a connector this course so people can yes. meet one another and people can do other projects so this is very interesting to hear i am happy to hear this yes ma'am i'm sure ma i hope, I hope. It helps you yeah surely inshallah. help all, all people involved inshallah okay okay, okay ma'am thank you let us continue this conversation and uh uh, let me know if you ever have any questions and um, I'll send the newsletter today and yes. I'll talk to you later. Talk to you very soon. Okay, bye-bye. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.